obviously uh, uh, it's an exciting month coming up here for for myself and uh, all the other inductees and uh, our family as well um, looking forward to it and uh, um, super excited to be honest you've had some time to um, sort of digest all this how, how does it feel now compared to when you found out in, in June and it's still surreal to be honest um, uh, I guess looking uh, I think especially looking at the Swedish history that there's only four players before uh, myself and the Sedins go in now uh, puts it in perspective we, we produce, Sweden has produced a lot of good hockey players um, uh, without question and to be able to be in the same uh, talked uh, about in the same breath as Lidstrom and Sundin and Salming uh, and Forsberg uh, it's, it's humbling and uh, uh, well, I say it's surreal it, it's, it's hard to take in because it's uh, you know, it's not like I did a performance recently that, okay, maybe I should do this. This has been years, uh, and there's been, you know, talk, should I get in uh, this year, the next year, and then you don't know. And then to finally get the call and uh, be included in that group, is uh, it's amazing. How did you try um, to approach the announcement every year, Alfie? Did you try not to get excited? Did you try not to think about it? Did you? I tried everything. <laughs> Obviously, the first uh, year, I, I believe I was in uh, in New York City with uh, some friends for a concert, and uh, paid fairly close attention to it. Um, uh, not that if I didn't get in, I, was, I wasn't crushed. I, you know, obviously you're hoping. Um, uh, but I didn't take it for granted or, or you know, it's like, oh, I should get in this year. Um, the following year, probably, you know, I realized, maybe, well, maybe it's not healthy to just put all the effort and hoping that this is going to happen now. So I, I, I've been pretty relaxed about it. Uh, I paid closer attention this year again because there was uh, a lot of hype in Ottawa here around it. Um, you know, the, uh, they did a big social media campaign, a group, and uh, which was fantastic to watch and feeling all the the love and support, no question. Um, uh, and it ha ended up being we're we're in Sweden and sitting with some friends uh, in the backyard and uh, um, uh, uh, and having a chat and hoping it it, it was going to be the call and. The time kind of came around, and I was like, "Oh, probably not this year." And then two minutes later, the call came, and uh, uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool, uh, cool experience. And has your life changed a little bit since that announcement? Uh, it has, and it hasn't. It, it hasn't changed in, in in terms of day to day stuff. But obviously, there's a lot of planning that going into this. Um, um, you know, inviting people and sorting everything out, uh, having some family coming from Sweden and friends and uh, and, and from here as well. So uh, that's about the only thing that's changed. Uh, uh, and, and just walking around in the city here too, feeling people are ex really excited for me. And um, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a crazy couple of months. Is your speech ready yet? It's not ready, but it's uh, the, we have the outlines, we have the framework, and uh, so we, we got well, a couple of weeks here to to fine tune it. But I'm I'm, I'm comfortable where I'm at right now. When you say we, when you say we, are you working on it with people? Yeah, I have a few friends that are, that are helping out. That's that's uh, helped me in, in in years before as well. Um, that you know I find is really good just to bounce ideas off, and. Uh, uh, kind of puts it in a way that I probably wouldn't. They're much better writers and way with words than I am. So, uh, uh, yeah, they're, they're helping. I, I kind of tell them things I really want in there. And, and um, uh, yeah, they've been, they've been great in, uh, in kind of framing it out. What does it mean to go in as a member of the Ottawa Senators? So I don't think you go in as a member of anything, to, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but, it, you know, I feel it's it's um, uh, the Hall of Fame thing, and then 
also being around the rink here more with the team uh, has, has been great for me, uh, I think, personally. Um, um, so there, there's uh, um, a lot of good things that happened the last few months, and, and that's uh, you know the Hall of Fame and being being around the team a little bit more, being welcomed here uh, uh, again is um, yeah, it's fun. If you could go back to your rookie season when you came over here, <coughs> put yourself back in that spot. Could you ever have envisioned your life and your career playing out the way it did? Yeah, I, really, I underachieved. No, I'm kidding. Of course not. Uh, the first year was, was uh, you know, just trying to make the team, uh, not knowing uh, much about the NHL, um, you know, rookie camp, main camp, exhibition games, uh, turmoil around the team. <coughs> Excuse me. We had uh, three coaches and two GMs in my first year. Uh, so... To, to sit here today, you know, uh, what is it, 27 years later, uh, it's surreal because I thought two, three years, if things went well, like Christmas my first year, I thought nine months, uh, um, that would be it. I, I, you know, it was so much going on with the team and I wanted to go home. <clears throat> um, and throughout the, my career, I think, too, it's it's... There's times when when you think you're gonna retire, and other times where it's like I, I can keep playing forever. Um, so I guess it's like any job; it's up and down. And uh, um, but I could never have envisioned, uh, uh, you know, sitting here today talking about the Hall of Fame after my first year. No question. Did you get the chance to meet uh, Corey and Stephen, the, the gentleman behind the social media campaign? No, I haven't. I do. I, I, uh, we had a, an event at the Swedish Embassy. Uh, I don't know if there was a mess up. Uh, I made sure they were on the list. Uh, you know, I, I know uh, Sarah Leader helped out with them as well. They, they were the driving. Uh, uh, Brian Morris uh, was a big help for them as well. And uh, yeah, I, I made sure to thank them. And obviously, I appreciated the. Uh, the time and uh, dedication it, it uh, took to put that campaign because it was very professionally done, uh, and uh, like I said, it made it made me um, uh, made me feel very good. You said at first that you were in Sweden when this happened, and the fact that you'll be the fifth, sixth, or seventh, depending on Sweden player. The following days, week, did you did, you know get a sense that it was a big thing in, in Sweden too for people over there as well? Uh, yes. Uh, but not as big as it was here. Um, uh, I think obviously they follow NHL fairly closely, and uh, the Sedins and myself, and it was, it was uh, uh, made headlines for a day, um, and I think that was about it. So it's it, it's it's a big deal. Uh, there's nothing similar in Sweden the same way. They don't celebrate. Uh, the past as much as, as it's done over here and uh, you know when you're done you're done and uh, I really appreciate the way uh, you know the Hall of Fame does and all the work they put to promote uh, the work they do and and uh, you know honoring of, of players uh, uh, with banners uh, or jerseys in, in, the, in the roof and stuff like that uh, or ring of honors or whatever it might be I think it's a a really cool way of um, keeping past players that you appreciate a, a contribution from and, and also keeping them involved um, and around the team a little bit. How do you like to be more around the team this year? Sorry? How do you like to be more <coughs> around the team this year? We saw you at the opening night here yeah. today. What does it change for you to be around the team like this? I mean, it doesn't change anything. It's just it's, it's a good feeling. Uh, you know, it's fun. You have, you have so many memories from for me, especially from this arena, when you walk in the hallway and uh, you see some of the players preparing for a game, and they're you know what they're going through, uh, you know, uh, especially if it's you know struggling times, you know you can lend a supporting word here and there, and and some guidance maybe. But uh, you know you, you lose the first two games of the year, and you come home to start a homestand, and. Uh, uh, 
pressure is on already in today's world. It's it, just the way it is. And uh, um, I really enjoyed being at that home open and watching the response. Uh, uh, just seeing the start of the game. Obviously, they get the goal early and, and play great, but also just the energy. That's I think that's the biggest uh, measuring stick for me when you watch the team is how how is the energy in the team and and uh, you could tell uh, the energy was was high and uh, it carried off into the game and maybe too much energy at sometimes but uh, overall that's uh, that was uh, an impressive performance. Well, up on that, like, how important is it for you to be associated back with the Senators' brand? Yeah, the eyes are on the sack and going back to where they had success. How important is it for you? Uh, yeah, it's important not to be just a social, but just to be, there's a relationship. That is not, uh, yeah, I think that's what, what I like the most. That uh, if I feel to come by uh, for a day to watch practice or take my kids to watch practice, I'm welcome to do that. Uh, I think that's what uh, matters the most. And, uh, um, you know, I, I really enjoy that because there's so much that's you know I put in, and the team has put into me as well throughout the years. That uh, um, uh, it, it feels important to me that it is uh, uh, a good relationship. Danny, when you reflect on your time as an Ottawa Senator, what do you think your legacy is, or maybe what do you want your legacy to be as a player? <laughs> I never thought about legacy uh, in a way. I, I think, I guess it, it, it's up to whatever person thinks it is or whatever people think it is. Uh, but I think uh, I always took pride in working hard. I always took pride in, in uh, trying to perform my best and uh, uh, you know, do whatever I can do to help the team win. Uh, and I think that's, I was good at working hard. And, and you know, and it wasn't easy, but uh, I became good at it. And uh, um, <clears throat> didn't feel as much of a chore as maybe it sounds like. <clears throat> um, so I think that's when, when I look back at myself and what I'm most proud of is if I, would watch any of my past games. Uh, uh, maybe the performance wouldn't be great, but there was always an effort there. Uh, and I think that would, if anything, would be maybe a legacy. I don't know. You talked about just the years going by and wondering you know, if, the, if the call was, was going to come. So is, like, is there a sense of, of validation, Daniel, like getting that call and now you know, forever mm -hmm. you're going to be known as a, a Hall of Famer? Well, it is. There's no question. No question. Uh, uh, does everybody agree? No. Uh, and, and that's the beauty of sports. Uh, it brings out emotions from, from every side. I mean, I, uh, when I play golf, we always talk about every shot makes somebody happy. Uh, um, and, and I think that's, you know, we love our teams. We support our teams. We, we uh, think the other teams are always fouling more or take should have more penalties and we, we become objective so um, uh, but it is definitely a, a, a you know the dot over the eye uh, to finish off a career to to be in the Hockey Hall of Fame it, it is uh, um, uh, a select group and you know obviously when when I Think of it right. You mentioned, you know, Iserman, uh, Lemieux, Gretzky, who I kind of had as, as idols um, uh, when I was young, and, and being in the same group as them, or uh, Matt Sandin and Peter Forsberg and Lidstrom, who I who I played with and obviously admire and, and respect uh, tremendously as well. So uh, it's it's a huge honor, and uh, it's definitely a. Um, yeah, I don't know how you phrased it, but it's a really validation, no question. As you look back, you, you guys, you had teams that were like on the cusp of winning Stanley Cups. I, I'm gonna, I guess I'll give you three options here. Um, if you look back, is it the 03 team that won the President's Trophy? 
uh, lost in New Jersey. Is it the 06 team that was like uh, just a total wagon that just you, you lose Hashik and then it, it falls off the rails? Or is it the 07 team that you get to the cup against Anaheim? If you look back and say that's the one that I think in hindsight we missed, what, what would it be? Uh, uh, I think all three. <laughs> Uh, the 03, um, I think we, we were really solid and it, it came down to, you know, play here and there at the end, no question. Um, uh, we had a lot of guys playing really well. Uh, I wasn't really among them. I didn't have a great playoffs that year, I think, personally, but, uh, you know, but knowing New Jersey went on to win fairly easily in, in, in the finals after, that's hurts even more obviously uh, we were right there and uh, 07 was was just uh, we just clicked as a team and uh, the first two games in the finals in Anaheim hurt us uh, uh, win game three at home and then uh, end up losing game four and then put us in a real tough hole but we uh, uh, we were right there with Anaheim, but the first two games really hurt us. We had a chance to win game one, I think, uh, looking back, and uh, uh, but that's sports. Yeah, you're a competitive guy, always. Uh, how much are you looking forward to the legend game on Sunday, and how are you preparing for that? Uh, yeah, so I've skated a little bit. I haven't skated a ton. I was on the ice uh, uh, last week, and uh, I'll probably try to go on the ice a couple of times uh, this weekend. And uh, um, I'm a competitive guy, but it, I, I think it will be, it's more of a fun game anyway. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I don't play any um, hockey except when, when I've been coaching. I've been on the ice with the kids and full, uh, you know, play scrimmages with them. Other than that, I don't play hockey at all. Um, and uh, so I'm looking forward to play uh, a game and uh, uh, get on the ice and, uh, you know, I feel comfortable enough that I should be able to hold my own. You know who's inducting you? I do not. You can say? Do not know. <laughs> I think they would have asked maybe, yeah, uh, so I don't think I do.